a manifesto check tonight. My colleague Dennis Poberi Wedam, manifesto checker, is here, and and we're fleshing up this whole segment at least as the days go by. Is it not? Now yeah. we have a, a current manifesto, manifesto to check with, and and what we've been doing previously. Precisely. And there's a verdict already as to how many of the manifesto promises in the 2020 manifesto by the MPP has been achieved. Sure. And this is coming from who? Uh, my name's Sikh, Dennis Miracle Sabwaji. <clears throat> so even before the MPP launched the manifesto over the weekend, there was this conversation where Dennis is reported to have said that the MPP has done 80% of the 2020 manifesto. That's to say that they fulfilled 80% of the same manifesto that we have been checking here day in day out 80 percent yes and i was wondering why i mean uh, maybe they are inspired by the fact that they say if a lizard falls from the coconut tree and then uh, you don't place it to it place itself but mm. i mean as, as a rule of thumb it's the case that you don't mark your own scripts sure and one would have expected that at least they allow the public just like we do a manifesto check so that the verdict will be with the people mm. but of course they say that they have done 80 percent being a judge in their own course. Yes, but this is what they say. Our manifesto, we have done just about 80%. It is 20 that we have not been able to fulfill. We have run an analysis of our manifesto. We, you, you, have, you have it. Run the analysis. Have you run an implementation of MPP's manifesto? Yes, we have. What percentage did you get? They're asking us what percentage did we get? Well, we defer to the public. The verdict, as we will see, is it's with the with people. The people. Because as you but of course, do. he will not be the first person to see this. He may have taken the inspiration from his boss, because as far back as September 2020, before the 2020 general election, flag bearer now, then vice president, had also said that the MPP had fulfilled 80%. Maybe 80% is such a lucky number for them. Mm. So, so, so this was in 2020? This was in 2020. He had said that 80% of the promises have been fulfilled. The projects are either 100% delivered or we are delivering. All these projects are on the delivery tracker. Remember that in 2020, they put up what they call a delivery tracker. Yes. Which was essentially a reproduction of their manifesto with the extent to which they had performed in certain areas. And now we have in the performance tracker. In 2024, they decided to put up what they call a performance tracker. In that case, that was different because the performance tracker, unlike the delivery tracker, only puts up projects that they have done in respect right. of infrastructure. I see. So in either case, 80 as of 2020, 80 as we are told now. But we have also been doing our checks on Manifesto Check. True. And for all the things that we have done, today we just decided to put up a few of them. And we are starting with the Polygon Multipurpose Dam for a reason. Because we have noticed that today, the Bagri Dam will be spilled. And mm. each time the Bagri Dam is spilled, the impact is felt in the northern part of the country. One of the reasons for this Polgo Dam project was to mitigate the effects of that spillage. Mm. Absolutely. This was a promise made in 2020. We still see that the flag bearer of the MPP today or yesterday made a similar promise, invariably saying that that is a failed promise. Mm. And already we already so know some $12 million have already been invested in this project, yet there's nothing to show for it. I mean, we have been to the side. We saw that it was just bare land. And let, let the, video, the videos roll. Let's see how we visited that place somewhere in March and how it looked like. Nothing substantial has changed about the place. And this is a project. So this is where the $12 million yes. has been spent already on the project. Precisely. And there's no, nothing to show for it. And that's also captured in this. That's captured in the 2020, 2020 manifesto. 2020 manifesto. And then again, so this was what was captured in 2020. We will accelerate the development of the Polgo Multipurpose Dump on page 154. When you move to the 2020 manifesto, which was read yesterday, we will launch an expanded irrigation project, which will include implementation of the Polgo Irrigation Scheme, which is part of this whole project, and then the Bui Irrigation Scheme. So. Previous, I mean, obviously, this is a carry-forward project mm -hmm. with nothing to show for it. Perhaps this forms part of the 20% Dennis is talking about. It doesn't end there. Just to run you through, I mean, a few of the things that mm -hmm. we have done on, on, on Ghana tonight, I mean, by way of manifesto check. There was a promise in 2020 to expand infrastructure to increase access to professional legal education. Part of this project was to have what they called a law village, right. which was to put up 
a nice project somewhere between the Presec School and then the UPAC. We visited that site some time ago, and I mean, what is left there is it's nothing much desire, really. Now we are told so that's again. That's on page one five five, right? Yes, on page one five five of the twenty twenty manifesto. Okay. Now, on the twenty twenty manifesto, the is same it, promise is, comes in a different twenty twenty four. I mean twenty twenty four. Sorry, we will undertake a comprehensive review of professional legal education towards the conversion of the Ghana School of Law into a pure examination body. That is, into a council for professional legal education. When you read this, the extended part talks about how it will now become the, that body which will um, be able to give mm. um, guidance to other institutions to train and all that. So purely it's going to be one which is in charge of examination and then the examination for the call to the bar and all that. So in 2020, that was not fulfilled. So it's brought back to 2024. Exactly. So okay. it now leaves the question what becomes of the law village. Okay. No, you you said we, we have videos of the law village? Um, not immediately. Not, okay. This right. again was in 2020, mm -hmm. where they promised to build 16 model senior high schools in Zongo communities across 16 regions of the country. I mean, take it or leave it, religion is going to play a key role in determining the outcome of this election. True. And those who have conducted polls usually would want to know if the religious composition of the candidature will in any way affect people's views. And we have seen uh, how they've gone. Absolutely. So this particular promise to the Zongo communities, predominantly Muslim communities, was one that was supposed to take care of a certain constituency. 16 senior high, mod, uh, senior high schools in Zongo communities, that is one in each region. Mm -hmm. As of our last check in March of this year, when we spoke to the presidential coordinator for the Zongo, develop, the Zongo, the Zongo um, Development Secretariat, right. he had said that they were still discussing drawings and that the drawings were ready and that they would start the project by end of this year. End of so this what year. it means is that that project, as we speak, we still don't have a single um, Zongo senior high school or model school. Now, that was in 2020. What do we see in 2024? Construct 16 model senior high schools for our Zongo communities in the 16 regions. Which page is that? This is page 152. This is in 2024 manifesto. Of 2024 manifesto. Let, so in 2020 manifesto, which page was 2020, it 2020, page 155. So that's for the benefit of our viewers. We can check it. This is exactly. the most verifiable fact you so can see. These are some of the things that, oh, I mean, admittedly, there are some of the things that when we checked, they were done. Affirmative action, for instance, mm -hmm. has been done, except it has not been assented to by the president. Absolutely. In the new manifesto that we have, he talks about implementing it to the letter. Right. So that's a different thing altogether. For Agenda 111, it's a matter of fact, and they've said it repeatedly, not a single hospital has been commissioned. Right. Those in the regions, the new regions we have checked, not even one. So maybe, again, I say, maybe that forms part of the 20% Dennis is talking about. But these are things that we've been on the ground, we've checked them out. When you check again on um, the 2020 manif 2024 manifesto, you see that we will complete the ongoing projects of Agenda 111. Admittedly, some of the projects are at various stages of completion. Mm -hmm. And when we visited the site, we saw quite a number of them at various stages of completion. But the fact is that not even a single one has been commissioned to be for, for use. I see. When we check the psychiatric hospitals that were promised, Accra Psychiatric Hospital is there for all to see. When you look at the visuals of how it still stands, it's the same old Accra Psychiatric Hospital. But it was part of these projects that were supposed to be Redeveloped. So that's what you see on the screens right now. That is the current state of the Accra Psychiatric Hospital. No, 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 no nothing new. Nothing yet. So essentially, what we see is a migration of some of the promises that were not fulfilled in the old manifesto into a new manifesto. But then it says it's 80% complete. But we see the verdict is certainly with the, with the people. people. Of what you're saying. Well, let's zoom in straight into the education sector. And, and, and this was just to give you a general idea of what the first phase of our own tracking of what has been fulfilled and what has been carried forward into the next uh, manifesto, the NPP 2024 manifesto. But the education sector is our first sector of analysis, and it's for good reason, because the teachers have been giving so many promises, and we had a number of the members of the NAGRAT and NAT CCT or reaching us before the show that they want us to focus on that. So we're doing this for you. What did we find? Well, so when it comes to the education sector, quite a lot has been said in there. Talking about how teachers will not be able to now own cars by mm -hmm. some incentive that government will come in. 
we also see that there's also a specific uh, promise that has been made to persons with disability. And just to say, this is also a promise that has been transported all the way from 2016 and is appearing again in 2024. Mm. That's to see. So in 2016, you'd see that there was a promise to enforce Section 18 of the Disability Act that provides for free education for persons with disability. In 2024, we see introduce a free tertiary education scholarship for persons with disability to remove financial barriers to pursuing educational goals. So from 2016, that yes. has not been fulfilled? It's eight years old. I mean, there was also a promise for some housing packages for teachers. We have done this on Manifesto Check before, True. only for us to realize that's what, that was actually a UN project. But mm -hmm. we spoke to the teachers and they said no. They did not even receive anything. We still see some of those things in the 2020 Manifesto.